Glennie, your first WBBL campaign, it's one week in, how's it been so far? Really good actually, um, the girls have been really welcoming and it's nice to get to know them, obviously coming into a new team, um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. You obviously you would have known Amy Jones coming in, were there any other familiar faces when you landed amongst the group? Yeah, um, so I played with Soph uh, for the, in the Kia Super League for the Lightning, um, so I played with her before and uh, Grinners as well um, for my first year of Lightning, so it's nice to have like a few familiar faces coming into the team. And we are in the, the WBBL village. What's village life been like? Uh, it's been really good. I think they're set up really well. There's plenty of things for us to do and um, we can go out for walks. Um, and it's nice to kind of see the other teams as well, like get to know get to know them and just catch up and stuff. So I think they're set up really well. What's the vibe been like around the Scorchers group? Oh, really good. Um, we've been really positive. Uh, I think we've clicked really well as a team, saying we've only kind of just got together as a team. Um, and the vibe's just really good training on and off the field as well. There's a new coach as well with Shelley Nitschke. How's she um, gone about things and, and how's she been received by the playing group? Yeah, she's gone about things like just in her own way and I think we've just clicked really well with her. She kind of knows how we go about things and what works well for us. Um, so to have that kind of communication and relationship with the coach I think is really um, good for big tournaments like this. A tough first up loss against the Brisbane Heat. What went wrong for the Scorchers? I think, to be fair, I don't think we did too bad. I think we just fell probably 15, 20 runs short. Um, so it was quite tricky to defend quite a low score on that ground. Um, and then I think we built quite a lot of pressure in the middle and just kind of maybe just lost a bit of momentum with the ball uh, near the back end. A strong start, though. It must have been good to see Sophie Devine and Beth Mooney spend some time together at, at the top of the order. Yeah, definitely. I, you could see how well they just clicked together um, and it was just great to just sit back and watch. Um, I think they worked really well and their communication is great um, between the wickets as well. So what was the spoken about post-match? Was it just that we were 20 to 30 runs short in the end or how was the day rate? Yeah, I think we looked at both sides of it. I think we said we did feel, feel we fell short uh, by 15, 20 odd runs. Um, I think we just needed to assess the pitch. Obviously, it's quite a slow outfield with the rain uh, and just maybe just looked how we can access that boundary. Um, and then just with the ball, just making sure we just keep maybe just near the back end of our over, just how we can close out the over. Um, so I think we were pretty happy in general with our performance. It's just a few things we just need to tweak for the next game. A good start for yourself, though. You took a wicket in your, your very first game and... Uh, you did earn praise from the skipper post-match. That must have given you a lot of confidence going forward. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, I mean, I was pretty nervous uh, coming on to bowl, um, but Sophie just came up to me and she just felt really calmed and relaxed, and I think that gave a bit of confidence in me that she kind of had confidence in me. So, um, and it was nice to hear the compliments after as well. I feel like it's lifted me up a little bit for the next game. Unfortunately, we had a washout yesterday. It must have been disappointing not to get out and play against the Hurricanes. Oh yeah, we were really gutted. I think we just wanted to get out there and just work on the things we said post-match and just show what we can do. So the fact that we didn't even get a chance, we're obviously gutted, but there's not much you can do. A 14-game tournament, so there's a long way to go still. The, t the group must be super excited to go again this weekend, beginning with the Renegades. Yeah, definitely. I think we've still got a long week to go, um, but I think that gives us great preparation to work on the things what we wanted to do from the last match uh, and put it into this match. And I think it will just the the vibe around the group is really good at the minute, and I think it'll continue to be great getting towards the game.